Hey there! You are probably familiar with how we always dive into history before we start any discussion in our video. But really, we humans have such a fascinating tale to tell as a species. We started off in the open fields and eventually looked to the caves for shelter. We were nomads, but then decided to settle once agriculture was developed, and now we continue to expand those cities and settlements. With nowhere left to go up, we now choose to build our own shelters in the form of skyscrapers. A long way from settling in caves, don't you think? In fact, the world's tallest planned building, the Jeddah Tower, is planned to be one kilometre high. But of course, everything is not smooth. The Jeddah Tower has a few complications of its own. What are they? Let's find out. The Arabian Peninsula is known to be a hotspot for tall infrastructures. Take Dubai, for example. It is home to the world's tallest building at the moment. With the rise of the petrodollar in the middle of the 20th century, the Gulf states saw a huge influx of wealth. Subsequently, there was a lot of room for their economies to grow. This made them the perfect place for the world to focus its economic interests. Large-scale development took place, and the entire area was turned from a barren wasteland to a series of metropolis in just a couple of decades. However, whilst most typically think of the UAE, it is in fact Saudi Arabia that was hoping to take the lead. The Jeddah Tower was supposed to beat the Burj Khalifa in terms of its height as the world's largest building. However, things didn't go exactly as planned. Saudi Arabia's crown prince and de facto leader, Mohammed bin Salman, understands that the future of oil is dismal in a world that is heading inexorably toward renewable energy sources. Furthermore, since America began fracking its fingers off and flooded the world market with cheap oil a few years ago, the price of oil has been essentially at rock bottom. As a result, he has been spending increasing amounts of time and effort on diversifying Saudi Arabia's economy away from oil. The Crown Prince intends to achieve this in a number of ways, one of which is through courting foreign investment. One of the ways he intends to do so is to show off, a strategy that has been around since the dawn of time. MBS has been overseas on business and implemented some modest social reforms in order to make the nation more desirable to businesses. He also stated publicly that he wants the country to transition away from oil. The economic city of Jeddah, on the other hand, is perhaps his most ambitious proposal. This is more of a planned development for the city of Bajorashi than a planned expansion for Jeddah. Given the project's name, this came as a surprise. The development will include everything you'd anticipate, such as houses for residents, hotels for tourists, business buildings for workers, and a slew of tourist attractions in addition to the usual suspects. But the Jeddah skyscraper, which will be even taller than the Burj Khalifa in the UAE, is the project's showpiece. While the latter will be about 830 meters tall, the Jeddah Tower will be the first in history to be a complete kilometer tall. It will include a vast sky terrace with views of the Red Sea that can be seen for kilometers and will act as a community and commercial center in the neighborhood. It is expected to cost $1.23 billion in all, but let's face it, such huge projects are nearly always surprising. Things frequently exceed the budgeted amount. All of this sounds wonderful, and everyone who hears about how wonderful it is supposed to be will want to go. According to Mohammed bin Salman, who started the initiative in April of 2013, he believed so as well. That was quite some time ago. Years of rigorous preparations had preceded this to assess if the land was sound enough to support the building. It's reasonable, given that a kilometre-high skyscraper can't be constructed just any place. The engineers and planners went through the process of choosing an architect to ensure that the tower would be as elegant and large as feasible after determining the appropriateness of the location. Obtaining a contractor and issuing permissions, as well as all of the tedious and time-consuming paperwork, were also completed. After that, the actual project began. When construction began, the corporation in charge of the project, the Jeddah Economic Company, stated that the skyscraper would be finished by 2020. Now it's 2021 and the skyscraper still hasn't been completed. It isn't even close to being finished. The tower is just about a third of the way to completion right now and it isn't even being worked on right now. Construction on the project was suspended in 2018 for unknown reasons and it has not been restarted since. To be honest, why is something about which we are unsure? Saudi Arabia maintains a high level of secrecy when it comes to government affairs and the government is heavily involved in the initiative. 
Some sources suggest that there is a labour conflict, although the sources aren't entirely trustworthy. Not only that, but neither does Google contain much in the way of information. As a result, no information is easily available and we are unable to challenge the Saudi authorities. As a result, everyone is virtually left guessing. However, there are rumours. We don't know for sure, but Mohammed bin Salman launched a well-known purge of the administration in 2017. Several high-profile Saudi millionaires were caught up in this sweep. You may recall that the owner of Kingdom Holding Company, who also happens to be a member of the Saudi royal family, was among this group. The leader of the Saudi Bin Laden Company, a construction business, was also targeted by the purge. Both of these groups were significantly involved in the building of the Jeddah Tower and are currently doing so. We can't tell for sure if this was the cause for the construction pause, but the CEO of Kingdom Holdings stated that building on the skyscraper will begin in 2020. But that too has not yet occurred. Of course, it was in February 2019 before the globe chose to turn off the lights due to the new coronavirus. Perhaps they just felt like taking a break for a while or whatever. But suffice to say, the skyscraper is still under construction and may not be completed for several years. The Jeddah Tower is definitely an odd case. The country still has a lot of capital in its reserves to facilitate the construction of the tower on its own, which further makes the situation seem odd. This means that there might be some other concerns too. Some people claim that the soil test for the tower was not adequately undertaken with all aspects of the tower's properties considered. And of course, since this project is undoubtedly of a large scale, there are often a lot of things left unthought of when calculating. Because of this, it is alleged by some that the project is being redesigned altogether on top of what has already been built. But then we might question the reasons to hide this news. Armchair economists claim the kingdom is being secretive about this in embarrassment. However, the wild guesses do not end here. Some say that there are internal security matters pertaining to the oversight the tower provides over the entire project that risks its success facilitating an unfavourable outcome. But when we go into conspiracies, there are really not a lot of trustworthy options to consider. For all we know, some 40-year-old space geek could claim it's somehow because of aliens. One thing is for certain, money plays a huge role in ensuring the success of any project. That being said, Saudi Arabia will probably finish the project regardless of what happens since the age-old rule still applies. When countries have money, they build giant buildings. And Saudi Arabia certainly has money. Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. Do leave a like and comment what you think. Subscribe for more. Until next time.